everyone welcome back to another video so usually with sneakers i usually just do like an outfits with uh, type of video but for this sneaker i have a lot of thoughts so i thought i'd do a full in-depth review and also show uh what kind of outfits i would pair with this sneaker and the sneaker of course is the ama manier jordan 4 in this violet or colorway before we start if you're into men's fashion sneakers and streetwear Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and also follow my Instagram at GenuineFits uh, where I post content as well. So the Alma Money Jordan 4 was released last uh, November and it's the fourth uh, Jordan and Alma Money sneaker collaboration of that series. So when I first heard that Alma Money is doing a Jordan 4, I got pretty excited because Jordan 4 is one of the nicest uh, retro Jordan silhouettes and just as the overall sneaker, one of the nicest sneaker silhouettes out there on design uh, for me personally i like the jordan one the three and the four they're probably my top three favorite jordans and i especially got excited because um some concept or early leak photos showed up and it really followed the same color pattern as the ama maria jordan three which i think is one of the nicest uh sneakers out there and I got pretty excited about that. But then when I actually saw official photos of what the Jordan 4 Alma Manier would look like, I'm not gonna lie, my expectations kind of toned down a bit. Um, I didn't really like the sneaker as much as I thought it would look like. But when I saw more and more photos and videos of the sneaker closer to the release date, the colorway and the design definitely grew on me more. And it actually makes sense for Alma Manier not to just straight copy the uh, the color blocking from their Jordan 3 over to the Jordan 4 because it wouldn't be as original. And in terms of packaging, it comes in uh, what we're typically used to now with Alma Money and Jordan Sneaker Collabs and it's very nice uh, packaging. You have the sleeve, outside sleeve, and the violet or color all around the box. And my favorite part of the packaging is if you want to open the inside box, um, you have an image of Michael Jordan there, and I'm pretty sure it's the Craig Elo shot, the game winner that he hit uh, against Cleveland. And of course, he's wearing a Jordan 4 when he hit that shot. So it makes sense that they included this image on the inside label. So for the sneaker design itself, I'm just gonna go over some of the things I like and dislike about the sneaker. Of course, I'm not like a sneaker, like, technical guy where I know all the materials and the parts of the sneaker but I'll do my best and just sharing what I like and dislike. So in terms of likes I really like the colors that they've used. Um, of course you have that violet or as a base and I think this is a really nice unique color. Um, you don't see many sneakers or shoes out there with this violet color so with that it presents a lot, lot of new outfit opportunities because of this unique color and then you got the cream and then the black uh, colors that I've noticed that Alma Mania uses a lot uh, with their Jordan collabs and the reason why I like Jordan 4s is because of all the details that it has of course the netting and the triangle here which I think is called a triangle or a wing and then the heel tab it's one of the nicest heel tabs in sneakers Jordan 4 Nice colorway, very unique colorway are the things I like. In terms of what I dislike about the shoe, um, these are just some nitpicks and of course it's just my opinion. Although I like the colors that they've used for the sneaker in that violet, black, and cream, I feel like it could have been spread around a bit more. So for example, I feel like the top is just too a bit too violet or purple heavy. I wish the cream was actually mixed in a bit more on the top, but maybe having that in that cream color and also maybe having um, the back of this Jumpman logo in that cream color as, as well, just to make the shoe pop a bit more. And for the heel tab, I just wish that the Nike Hero was maybe in that violet color or cream color just to make the heel pop a bit more as well. But those are just, just tiny nitpicks and of course just my opinion about uh, the design. My other small nitpick about this release is that we only got one set of laces in this violet or color. I would have liked to have seen like a cream or off-white option as well, which I think would make the shoe pop a bit more on the top, kind of breaking up that uh, purple base. And with that, I want to give a huge shout out to the brand Loop Laces, where I was able to get these vintage white laces that match 
the bottom of the shoe and I think it makes the shoe pop a bit more kind of breaking up that all purple base but let me know in the comments below if you like this lace swap compared to the all purple look and I like to customize my sneakers with other lace swaps uh, just to switch up the color or the style so I'm really glad to find uh, loop laces as my go-to sneaker lace brand I've ordered from other brands in the past and I feel like for laces, the quality just wasn't there. Uh, they were either too thin, um, cheap looking, and the colors didn't really match. And the shipping costs were always way too high. So they offer a variety of laces in all sizes, not just for Jordans, uh, but all other sneakers. Uh, they have rope laces, flat laces, oval laces, and wax laces in all types of colors and all types of lengths as well. And they offer international shipping and if you're a Canadian resident, just like I am, they offer very low shipping costs for Canadian uh, residents as well. So I'll include them in the description box below. Um, so feel free to check them out. So now that I talked about the sneaker itself, I'll show you how I would personally style these sneakers using the colorway and the silhouette of the Jordan 4. So check it out. Just a final thought, I'm really excited to finally be able to rock this sneaker. It's a Jordan 4, one of the nicest sneaker silhouettes out there, an iconic Jordan in this very unique violet or color, which again presents a lot of new outfit opportunities. And in terms of the Jordan and Amma Manier collabs, uh, if I had to rank them, I would have the Jordan 3 number one and this number two and then the Jordan 1 number 3 and then Jordan 2 number 4. So thanks for checking out my video on the Jordan 4 Alma Manier. Let me know if you have any comments or thoughts and of course let me know if you like that lace swap on the comment section below. Of course be sure to check out loop laces and if you're into these types of videos on sneakers, streetwear, and men's fashion, make sure to like and subscribe and also check out my Instagram. And please stay tuned for the next video because I will do a review on the highly anticipated Jordan 1 Chicago for my next video. So stay tuned.